Hey everybody, Asher here, and it's 6.20. Ah, we're already a little late. It is Stardew Valley. And the fire's on. Let's turn it off. It is a new day. Let's go ahead and check the weather report here. And the weather forecast, it's going to rain tomorrow. That's very exciting because that gives us a chance to uh, do things other than water the crops. Fortune teller. Ah, yes, you can hear spirits whispering. And they're displeased today. So what are we going to do here? I think we have a few options. Obviously, we have a letter in the mail. Now, for those of you who may have missed the first video, uh, Stardew Valley is a farming game. If you're very familiar with Harvest Moon, think that. There's a town you live in, all that, and hopefully we can get some good viewing in that. Obviously, I want to water the crops first. We only have a few. As you can see, I am standing in the crops, and much like real life, where you can actually step through what you plant instead of stepping on it no matter what. It's okay to walk through here. So we're good there. One thing we do need to get is 50 wood so we can go ahead and build a chest. Get some of the stuff in, but let's see what letter we got in the mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff in my backpack as well. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store and buy our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I'm glad he's selling directly to me. We got another letter. Hello there. Just got back from fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you from Willie. Uh, I'm a little scared. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. So we can definitely do that today. But I think the number one thing we need to do... We don't have a ton of money right now. But I'd like to be able to put some stuff up here. So We have plenty of energy. Watering the plants did not take up that much time. Let's just go ahead and hackety hack some of these things. Now, like I said, we need wood. We need uh, 50. And we can go ahead and build a... Uh, Build something nice to put our stuff in. So a few trees should do it. So we can clear some of the trees up here. There are multiple entrances to your farm, by the way, so we can go some different routes. In fact, I think we'll take a different route just to get to Willie, because we don't have too much business in town yet today. And some of these first few days, they're not like super scripted, but there's... While you're not you're not quite able to access every single place. Now, kind of strangely, just as a side note, as it is nine o'clock, so we're almost at about to be quit in time. We have enough wood as well. Uh, my first playthrough of this, it only rained once in the spring, and apparently it's supposed to rain quite a bit in the spring. So we'll see if that plays out differently this time. We can just craft. We can craft a chest. We just can't hold the chest. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some of our forge in here. Uh, I can, I'm going to put the fiber up, and uh, I may just go ahead and plant those mixed seeds. Not right there. Oh, first clay. Second clay. Had a lot of trouble finding clay sometimes, so I talked about it on the stream, but I don't know if you heard that, because I've had some issues with volume and everything too, so let's see here. Go back inside. We're going to put a storage chest in here. Crafting's very easy. Pick something, craft it, place it. Next to the television looks okay. And now we can start storing things. This will store 24 of the things. We're just gonna drop everything in there. We don't even need, we don't really need our scythe right now. We'll hold the hoe. We'll need the axe and the pick. Probably. So 10 a.m. Time just keeps on ticking. I put up the scythe and then suddenly there's grass here that I need to cut through. Guess I should have thought my plan through a little bit better. But we'll make it. Alright. Cut you, got some more seeds. So those are wild seeds, they may not do so much. And I'll clear a path, <coughs> a path here before too long. So stone's good. You can make your own walkways, which will make things go a little faster. So you can actually use the pickaxe on these pickaxe on these bigger. Nope. Can't do that. Can use the pickaxe on the plants though, so that's interesting. All right, so we got a little lake here. If we look at the map one more time, we have lots of area. We kind of spent the first video up and around here. Let's go around some of the areas where we can forage. We don't have a lot of backpack space, but we do have some possibilities of meeting people. Or I could go ahead and get the fishing rod now. We may do that. So here's uh, Lee's house, and Lee is hard to find. 
There's a moo cow. We can raise some moo cows later. Do you need this stumped? No, it's just a set piece. All right. Sure, we'll go ahead and go to the docks early. So there's good old sewer, which I'm pretty sure is locked. Yep. Why can't we go into the sewer right now? I don't know. Playing in the sewer should be fun and exciting. You can see our energy level is already really low. But here we go. Old man in the sea. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I wonder if this counts as meeting, too. Probably. The other cutscenes did. I'm still trying to unwind for a month of, on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. Thank you for putting fishing in there, by the way. It's important for me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you can buy something from the shop once in a while. So, fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so if come if you need supplies, I can also buy anything you catch. It smells, it sells, huh? That's what old Pappy used to say anyway. Alright, so we're not going to have a ton of endurance to try fishing, but I'll show you all fishing. The fishing minigame in this game is actually good once you figure it out, but one of the issues, obviously, is that you'll find online and people posting stuff is, wham, I can't figure it out. So we can make sure we can talk to him. Boy there, it's nice to see young folk moving in the valley. Not very common these days. So if we didn't have it before, we did. So what are you selling? Bamboo pole for 500 and trout soup. All right. Now to fish. And fishing takes energy. All you got to do is just cast here. I actually did very poorly. I have a feeling I'm going to do very poorly while talking here. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, there's actually. Uh, I'm gonna keep the bar behind the fish. Which I'm not doing the best job of. And you don't necessarily wanna. Okay, there's a sardine. So, first fish caught. And it's a little sardine with a star. You don't wanna keep the green bar. You don't just wanna spam click all the time. If you click, it goes up. If you don't click, it goes down. And if you press and hold. It'll kind of go up or down on a gradual-ish pace. But you can also fish up lots of trash and stuff too. So we can sell our first fish. Oh, we actually got another view here. So, And this one's just staying easy. Different fish have different behavior. So how it pulls, kind of like real life, you can tell what kind of fish it is. Now, there is once again a little collection thing for... Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and ditch the seeds. We planted a few here. Wormies, what you got for me? Clay. Clay's still good. You kind of need it. So we can dig into some spots here. But anytime you see little worms pop up, you want to get it. So that's what fishing is in the game. Water has different fish, or depending on where it is, depending on what time of day as well. So who do we got here? Have I met you? Oh, you were working at uh, JoJo Mart before. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Take it easy. Oh, have we already met you? Damn it. I guess talking to him and interrupted in the store still counts, right? Okay, nobody in here. So we get to play a game now of where is everybody? I think I've met most of the shopkeepers. But not all of the shopkeepers. Alright. We did not go in here yet. We have met you. Have you met my mother? She's a town carpenter. Yay. Oh good, let's just totally violate HIPAA and barge in on somebody's medical exam. Oh dear, is it an emergency? Why are you here? Oh dear, why are you here? And now just hold still, take a deep breath for me. Does that count as meeting him? Yes. So there's a doctor. I almost want to call him Dr. Mustache because everyone complains about his mustache, but I don't care. Okay, don't spread disease, cover your sneeze. And I gotta be careful with what item I'm using because right now it's uh, expending my energy. And we have a fetch quest maybe. Help wanted in the market for a ripe parsnip. 
be so happy if someone delivered it to me. So 105 and make Elliot happy. Okay, we'll try and make Elliot happy with a parsnip. Nothing could possibly go wrong there. All right, so we can, you know, I don't have to walk back to uh, my house to sell this. And since it is going to be raining tomorrow, okay, so you're just hanging out there. How are you doing, dude? Great idea, can't pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Well, I really must get back to my work of what? Standing on the bridge. All right. I guess that's one thing that you can do. All right, so he's gonna close up shop in a little bit, but we can still sell for now. Left click, sardine, herring, good. A Little bit of money. Seagulls, which I can't catch. Anywhere else? Wait, is that something I can dig up? Okay, nope, but I can crush the sand and start to feel exhausted here. So maybe I should have eaten one of those things here. So I'm at 14 right now. If I get super exhausted, it'll be a sad time here. So, so my mom won't let me have any more gummies today. Is that your mommy? Dot, 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 hi. So you all don't talk and I'm tutoring Vincent and Jess today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone else's life. So you're also just letting them walk off. All right. Lots of daffodils out here. I think we've already met all of you all. There may be someone else in the library. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to donate. And it looks like us here. There's a book missing still a book missing there's a book missing here so there's lots of books that are missing the war with the grotto empire necessary or grotto a unique perspective calico desert flora and fauna and uh i apparently can't do anything with that bear and there's a fire up here and there's there's the museum, the very happy, very empty museum, as it were. So we still, let's see here, if we look at our page here, who else do we need to meet? You can see Vincent is not someone you can get, Jazz, not someone you can talk to here. Gus, Pam, Harvey, Linus, Sebastian, Lewis. All right. So I need to go, I needed to go to the western part of town. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. I mean, it's going to rain, so that's going to keep us from meeting people. Or I can just run out of my super cool rainbow shirt and pigtails. And just go and say, do you want to be my friend? Because that'd be great. Six o'clock soon, so maybe we'll work our way west. We'll see if anyone goes into the bar. I saw some movement here. Lots of little subtle movements, as it were. Could also rifle through some people's trash. Okay, nothing else to say to you. I've just barged into your house. Like a good, honest human being. Okay, there's someone else we haven't talked to yet. And some of the adult folk here, too, so. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Uh, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. Oh, she's she's a winner. And she's making cupcakes. And there's Emily up there, so Haley's Emily's person, I guess. Who knows? But definitely what a great way to make a good first impression. You'd look nice! If you didn't, all right. So a nephew shame has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps out the chicken, so I'm not complaining. All right. So we got people heading back home, and once it gets too late, you can't really see in here. I'm pretty sure this one's already going to be locked. And some of these people I'm not going to be able to find tomorrow because it is raining, or it will be. So. Dandelion. And I do have my items to actually clear things. We'll ditch the wood. We got plenty of it. 
wild horseradish. If we head all the way down here, there is, uh, let's see, a bridge to nowhere. I know where it goes, but right now it goes to nowhere. An abandoned shack. Well, that's not what we're going for. What we're going for is up here. This is a little nasty to navigate in the dark. But let's see. We have this thing. And I'm running over the It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. So there's the mage tower. Or the wizard tower. He may not be a mage, he might just be an illusionist. And it's nine o'clock at night, so we're already pretty late. I don't have too much more to sell. Right now we're just waiting for our uh, crops. And we got two days to give one to Elliot. I think finding it's gonna be harder than growing it. And back through these grasses I really need to clear a path and maybe I could do that while it's raining I mean, I have absolutely no stamina right now so I'm gonna need to do something here there we go so close eight I'd really hate to pass out right now but we made it barely one two just put everything we don't immediately need right now so we have wild horse radish Leek, Dandelion, and Daffodil, those are all forages for the spring. We do want to hold on to those for a time that will maybe become apparent pretty clear, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. We need to put up that clay. guess if we set out enough dirt, we get it too, but bedtime. And we leveled up because that's also something you can do. New crafting, wild seeds, field snack, we get plus one axe proficiency, trees will sometimes drop seeds. So, eight money from grass. It is the third day of spring. And our energy is fortunately fully refilled. You can hear the rain outside. Weather report. Weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. And the fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer in my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. Spirits feel neutral today. And there's rain. So you can see our crops are already watered. We don't have any mail. So do we just sit around all day in the rain? Of course not. First off, there's some stuff that needs to be cleared here. So we'll do that first. We can also go foraging just a little bit. Might want to grab that scythe after all. I can put up the fishing rod. Because a lot of people are not going to be out and about when it's raining. So we'll take the hoe. We'll take the axe. Cool. So yay, we can... You always have a little bit of time in the morning to take care of some stuff. Whether it's watering plants or whether it's clearing a path or something. That's what I was saying before about this game. It's kind of relaxing in its own methodical rhythm. There's always something you can be doing. As you see, we're going to get some new things now. I'm going to start keeping sap. I know I sold it previously. But sap is one of those things that's pretty easy to come by. Unless you go all, uh, not Lorax. It's the opposite of Lorax. If you go all one slur on this and just cut down every single thing. And are stupid and don't replant anything. So all we need to do is to make a small path. Some of these trees are growing. Trees grow. It takes a little bit of time. All right. Not bad. Like I said, I just want to have one little path. It's only eight in the morning. some other stuff over there too so a few more wild seeds I'll go ahead and plant those just so we can pick up the other thing 
It's already raining anyway. Yay. Things are not going to be growing in order, but it looks like we're going to have... Uh, I don't think those parsnips are ready. And I have two days to get this over here. So I can still try and meet people. 26 to 28. That literally means the only people we have not met at this point are... Uh, well, we haven't met Lee and we haven't met you. Otherwise, people don't count. And I don't know if Lee comes outside when it's raining. So I'll call that path sufficiently cleared. Oh, we found a geo that we can't hold. Local blacksmith can break it. Oh, we can't hold it, so that's good. Hey, it gives us something else to do, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're halfway through our energy bar. A few other places we can explore. Like I said, part of this too is like, because there's no fast travel or anything, we can't always find who we're looking for. You kind of have to know where to look around. Okay, a frog just jumped into there. But if you just stress out and try and go about meeting everybody and that's it, you're not going to get very far. Let's see here. So just a good old rainy day. Do you have anything growing down here? Sometimes we do. We do, in fact. That's wonderful. All right, we'll get rid of the acorn because we can get more of those later on. Get rid of the fiber as well. We do want you. What we really want is you guys. Spring onions. Good little things to collect so that you can get some energy and some health. And we got a lot more clay, actually. Back probably enough to go ahead and eat this. Who eats a wild horseradish? I did. There's a lot of things you can eat in this game that you may not expect to be able to eat. I guess that's country living? I don't know. Alright, so we'll pop a geode. Which may give us something to donate to the museum. But you can't just sit there and do farm work all the time without eating. But there is no requirement that you eat. Now, I could stalk you and stay outside of your house. But that seems like a very boring thing to do. Let's go in here. Uh, hey, Mayor. Just make sure that... Uh, I'm just here to make sure all of uh, Marie's businesses' needs are met. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Dot, dot, dot. So you just want to be here. What do you got to say today? Anything? Hi, Fiona. You look like you're so poor thing. Well, farming in the rain isn't easy, so we can purchase supplies. We can purchase animals. We can purchase shears. We don't need to purchase anything just yet. We'll get there eventually, but it's the only the third day. So he's playing guitar. Did you wipe your boots off before coming? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. And we probably can't go in here. Nope. Sam just wants to jam. Because that's what kiddos do. Alright, we got some other houses we haven't been into. So there's Emily again. Hi, it never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. And here's Haley once again, just being Haley. The only thing I like about this town is the beach. Cool. That's all you have to contribute for today. That's fine. And we got some grave sites that I could probably try to... Our beloved Mona. It's old and faded. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No idea. So in here, what do we got? Nobody. But the mayor's pretty serious about his tea, so that's good. He has a little flower box with all kinds of things, which is cute, I guess. 
You're not a real farmer, though. All right, who's in here? Old family guys. Okay. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. And I saw the most beautiful family butterflies setting themselves in the town garden. So always up to uh, no good, you guys. What the hell is that? Not good enough to go into Alex's bedroom. I don't think I want to. Oh, it's like, oh, a little football helmet, all other things. I'm just pumping iron. It is a little funny in a way. It's like you try and make a town of things and you still get some tropes and some caricatures to a point, but nobody's in there. And that's the mayor's house as well. So we'll break open the geode before they close. I mean, the town's still interesting, but I feel like it's... There are certain things that I can do that are not unlocked yet, so I can't do all the interesting things all the time. So pop it open, use 25 gold, and we got even more clay. That's unfortunate. Sometimes you'll get things you can donate to the museum out of those. That's still just a rainy, rainy day. At this rate, let's just go to Jojo Mart and buy a membership. Then we'll all feel alive. I don't even know who you are. I feel like I should know. So, times have been tough lately. I got laid off my job as a bus driver. I got that job back. I could drive you to Calico Desert. I don't know if Pam is my favorite person to be driving. There's Shane. Shane is a good guy. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. And there's you, who does not count as meeting. So, 340. Who do we got left to meet? Not that many people. Closed on Wednesdays. Can't even go inside because I recognize the face right. I think that might be uh, the person who is with Pierre. I think that's who that is, which means I have to catch her in the right time of the shop where she'll be lamenting her daughter's purple hair. It all sounds very familiar. So nobody's playing on the playground. The fountain's still going. But nobody's hanging out over here. So it's always just a little bit of a walk. There will be more things to do. But you have to wait to get a little notification before you can do some of them. All right, can we go in here? Is it too late? All right, need something built? Let's just talk to you first. Hey there, I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Are you doing okay at your place? Is the worker in your cottage holding up? Can I make you buy anything? We can upgrade house. For 10,000 and a bunch of wood, which we don't have. Construct farm buildings. 4,000 4, gold, 300 wood, 100 stone. You can get that, but you got to work towards it, which means I should probably be chopping wood instead of wandering aimlessly in the rain. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants in the farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday to check it out. You want to see if I'm growing weed. Alright, so nobody's down here, which is weird. It's not that weird. Oh, you're not a good enough friends to go into her bedroom. Oh, but she looks like she needs some help. I don't even know what she's trying to do there. Whatever it is, it's super frustrating. All right. Anybody else? Hmm. Oh, dude, you're outside. All right. Warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Yep. Pro-life tip. Glad your fire's still going somehow. Guess when you dump diesel fuel in it, so you're still hacking away at this, which is unfortunate. I want to go in there. I like going into that room, the mines, while it's raining. That's all right. I don't think we're going to have anyone else to see too much, unless everyone's going to crawl out and go to the bar. So let's go to the old watering hole. we'll see what we can get because there's no like I said there's no rush in meeting everybody it's one of those things that it'll happen when it does I'm just trying to put my thumb on the scales a little bit I'm getting oh hello you I think I've already talked to you yeah you're goth boy what are you what am I gonna do today probably nothing like your soul he doesn't get the joke 
Okay, a little more clay. You can just let the worms dig up the clay, that's fine. So if we go down here, there's a, supposedly a dog somewhere. But not in there. All right, anybody out here? Hi Fiona, or read anything interesting at the library lately? Oh good, there's one person we haven't talked to yet. He said reliable Lee. Hello, isn't it's nice to meet you. Hi Lee. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Alright. So we're down to just one person. One person left. And it's either apparent that I can't get into the place because the store's closed. Or it's a person that I can't meet because the person the story portion hasn't unlocked yet. That's okay. Important thing is knowing. So he's going to go drink as well. That's fine. Let's see here. Can I actually craft anything with the sap yet? I don't think I can just yet. But sap is still good to keep. Because you can make fertilizer with it for two each. And uh, fertilizer... Very nice, for obvious reasons. It's a farming game. Okay, so apparently all the worms are just giving clay today. It's a shutdown bus. There's a... There's something for me to get over here. Good. Alright, so is it really time to turn in at 9 o'clock? That feels so early. You can at least hack a few more things, right? I guess we don't have too much left to get, and I don't think we have too much to really sell either. I'm not going to be clearing a lot of that grass until later. It can turn on the fireplace. Yay! Alright, so how I think I'm going to be doing this series is just trying to keep things a little simple, a little steady. So what that means is that we're going to just take it like maybe day, two days, three days at a time, depending on what events and how things go. So we're going to tuck in, call this an episode. You can say goodnight, Fiona, some kind of sign-off thing. I don't know. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Asher with Stardew Valley. It's fun. It is, like I said before, kind of a relaxing game. It's kind of a slow pace where you just kind of want to enjoy it as you go, kind of like a leisurely stroll. So we'll continue that stroll on the next round. Take care.